So guys, Tui Ronnie back here with another video. Today we're gonna do things differently. We're gonna do a how-to video today. Um, so I'm gonna bring you on to what I got set up right here and I'm gonna explain why, like um, what I'm exactly doing. We're doing a um, how to, you know, prep the, prep the engine bay for paint. It might not be the correct way of doing it because I not wanna take everything out of the car, but it's the way I'm doing it. So, um, so the material that you need for this project is, all right, so the reason why I got anything that scratched a lot like these uh, steel wool pads and these um these drill bits. Damn, I, I forgot what they're called. But um, so the reason I got that is because the bullet manifold and the alternator that we need to um, hit with these to give it that good polish sand, polish sand or just to clean them up just a little bit more. Um, you got 320 grit sandpaper right here. Um, you got three options of steel brushes. Um, painter's tape right here. Then you have um, some powderless gloves right here, black gloves. Everybody pretty much have these, which I have on my hands right here. Um, any tack cloths, these are microfabric cloths. Um, two spray bottles or maybe one, and any engine degreaser or any cleaner degreaser that you like to use. This one actually has great reviews. I got all this off of Amazon and it will be um, posted in the description below. As far as that, so if you have a drill, you can pretty much use those drill bits. And um, all right, so, Step one of the prep, you could buy this too. I sprayed the whole engine down with this goof off stuff. It'd be a little bit more easier to get some of that dust and grime off. I'm gonna let this sit in there for about five more minutes and then I'm going to start um, scraping it. In the middle right here, I um what I did basically was, I got all my electrical stuff pretty much in the middle right here because I didn't want anything going into that. Um, Cause it, it, I think the main harness is in the middle right now. So. Um, I left the radiator on because I didn't want to, when I sprayed, because I'm changing the radiator out anyway, so I left the radiator on, and when I spray in here with paint, um, I didn't want the spray to go all through, through the transmission, I didn't feel like covering none of that stuff up. So basically, it's going to be from, from the back of the motor, the back of the bay, which is back here, we're going to tape all that up right here, um, and then we're going to move forward this way. Tape all this up, sand all this down right here. Um, move in front of the car and we're gonna spray this as well, like the bar and everything. There should be no reason there should be any green on the car as far as the door jams, which are, we'll probably end up doing something with that uh, later on. But, but yeah, everything's pretty much out of the, out of the um, engine bay as far as in the windshield washer fluid uh, container. Um, I gotta say, I'm gonna do the hydro boost setup. I probably gonna have to end up taking that whole thing down because I, I kind of, well, I could probably take my, I don't know. I'll see what I can do. But, um, so we're gonna let that sit in, let this goof off sit in there for a little bit, five more minutes, and then we're gonna get on with the video. All right, so step one, I got all this dirt, this, this loose dirt. So step one is to get rid of all the loose dirt in here. So that's what we ought to do. Just, if you got a vacuum, just suck this shit out. I basically just took the tape and taped around all electrical connections. Right there and then right behind there. Um, we're right, we're gonna take this, the greaser and we're just gonna spray it everywhere you see green at. And then we're gonna wipe it down with the tack cloth and then we're gonna, after that step, we're gonna sand it down, so. You can adjust it, buddy. So as you can see, it's taking all that excess dirt, excess grease off. So we wiped, um, we wiped everything out pretty much. Uh, got all the degreaser out, and then um, we're gonna hit it with this vacuum one more time. All right. So after that step, we are moving on to the sanding step. This is 320 grit. It doesn't even say it's 320 grit. This is 320 grit. We're gonna sand it down with this. All right, just an update. We um 
and we sanded everything down from here to the support bar right here back here um i'm gonna try to do something with this i can take this off i don't i don't want to take this part. i don't mess with the brakes just yet uh, i probably end up taping that taping this off too as well uh yeah we scratched all this up right here i don't know where it came from but it was rust we hit it with the uh the pad it looks like you just been sitting up under the battery tray for years yeah we hit it with that tell tell how you got it off hit that motherfucker with that perk 10 motherfucker <laughs> <laughs> and that's pretty much gonna be done with that part so uh I'll give you an update on that after we yes yeah, smart guy no just cover with the brake thing because i'm gonna paint the I'm gonna paint the hydro boost. All right, so we got everything sanded down, everything vacuumed, wiped down. Now the final step is the paint. And after we hit it with this black Rust-Oleum paint primer, we are gonna hit it with some clear coat after that. So let's hit it with this first. Okay, gotta set that shit up. I'm not gonna try to blast it. I probably don't know what I'm doing, but all right. So this is the first coat, which is the coverage coat not to drown the car in the paint. But that's what we got so far. I'm waiting for this to dry about five more, five to 10 more minutes. And then we're gonna go back over it. Ooh, that was a close one. We're gonna go back over it again, but probably with a little, little bit more heavier coat. But that's what we have right now. All right, what's up guys? Um, so I'm here this morning, just looking at this, looking at the spray and pretty much just going over it. Um, See, I got a little couple of runs in the clear coat. I mean, but that's fine with me because it's just this spot right here and that is not cured yet. So um, I'm waiting for it to dry a little bit more. Um, it is the next morning and I did put two time, two clear coats, two coats of clear coat on here um, last night. So, um, I mean, but it looks nice. It's real smooth. Um, I know in this part where, where the fenders are going to be, I don't really, you're not gonna really see like all of this stuff, but the only thing I was worried about um, was this part right here. The paint didn't really grab onto this, even though we sanded the mess out of this twice. I don't know why. Yeah, we um, we sanded this twice, but the paint would not cure that. But this is gonna be over here, be over that anyway, so that'll cover that up. Um, and as far as the little speckles right here and right here, and then we had uh, the rust down here. Um, it was just. Lucky it was just top side of rust uh, because the battery uh, was sitting down here and had a whole bunch of leaves and everything. So it got trapped. I guess the water stuff got trapped up under there. And then on this side, this um, the same thing goes with this. This is what happens when you don't run any um, any fender uh, liner. So I, I didn't run fender liner for about a good six months. And it was my daily car. So <laughs> don't bash me for that. Um, I took this off right here. To the, we had plastic on that. I took that off. Um, I painted all down here, as you can see. So all that, all that's pretty much covered. And as far as the back, uh, we probably, I feel like we probably had like a little bit of oil spots or something like that. We did clean it off, but probably didn't clean off good enough. <clears throat> but as far as that, um, I'm gonna give you guys a full 360. So it looks pretty well. It looks way better than that green. I can tell you that. So this, is, <clears throat> so the color I was really trying to go towards was, was black, but this is like a charcoal, a kind of charcoal dark gray to me, but it looks freaking good though. Like step back and you have all that. So like I said, it's not bad for a spray paint uh, job. I just wanted to get it black and make, you know, this part that you want to see, which is the top of this, um, the top of this um, shoot strut 
and or coil over just the top of that you're going to see that uh you're not going to see this because it's going to be the fender is going to be exactly on that and then the only parts you want to see that i messed up on is this one right here and this right here <clears throat> so that's the only parts you're going to see and then you have the top of the coil right here like i said it's pretty it's pretty darn smooth for that yeah so you're not going to see all this all that but um you're going to see like inside right here but it looks pretty good though that's all that matters pretty much what we got today um thank you for uh if you guys look at this video thank you for looking at the video and don't forget to like subscribe and comment